Hello, welcome to Hayes Headlines. This is the December edition where we tell you all the events that are happening in the Hayes community. My name is Melissa Dixon. I'm the Executive Director of the Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau. I'm Tammy Walbrock with the Hayes Area Chamber of Commerce. And Sarah Bloom with Downtown Hayes Development Corporation. So much going on. We're going to have a hard time fitting it all in today. Well, and of course, the excitement that's in the city, city lights, the city halls, everything. It's decking the halls, literally, and it's a fun time in Hayes, America. We have some early events that I hope you're watching the show in time to get. We're going to give them to you anyway. <laughs> uh, but it's a perfect way to get the spirit of the season. One so. of my favorites is uh, Historic Fort Hayes Christmas Past event. So Friday and Saturday night, December 1st and 2nd from 7 to 9, you can go out to the fort and the whole property is illuminated with luminaries up and down the paths. Father Christmas is there handing out little treats to kids. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can go explore what would have been like to have Christmas in the 1870s. We went one year, so I hope that they still serve those. It's the hot apples or fried, spite, apples. Yeah, fried, fried apples. apples. Oh, those were amazing. And uh, to have a, a small child at the time eat his <laughs> eat his fruit, that, I could I could certainly handle that. So it is quite an eye opening experience for those little ones to see just what it would have been like to have Christmas back then, because. Our kids are pretty spoiled these days, mine especially. Um, but just for them to be able to walk into the fort and to see the history that is there and surrounds them and to realize that they've got it pretty good, it's, it's a pretty fun experience. Yeah, really their, their treats were over an open fire. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. if they were so, lucky, if they were lucky. If you make it out to the fort, there's gonna be cider, usually there's cookies inside the little blockhouse store, um, but lots of fun things out there. Um, another thing happening early in the month, December 2nd, is the Hayes Symphony's Winter Vespers Concert at St. Joseph Catholic Church. And that'll be 7.30 with a pre-talk uh, by the conductor at 7. Um, and I love the Hayes Symphony's model now of they choose, um, they get a sponsor for the whole show. Mm -hmm. So the whole season is free. Yep. Fantastic. Yes, and there will be um, treats afterwards. We can't hold a reception inside the church, but there's everyone that attends will leave with a little Christmas treat. A treat to go. Uh, and th this one's gonna be really fun. We don't do, I say we because I play, uh, the symphony does not do very many evening concerts, and this one is, so it's special in that it's an evening. It's special because it's at the church, uh, but it's gonna be really fun because it's going to be featuring a lot of different musicians as well. And with the symphony, they don't get to uh, feature those individuals a lot and so this is going to be a really special concert for that group. I'm super excited. We're so glad that you are part of that and then Thanks. you can add so much more value to this show <laughs> and, and, and certainly to our community through your musical talents. Thank you, thank you. One more early event, uh, Hayes Community Theater's children's production of Charlie Brown Christmas will be December 1st, 2nd and 3rd at the 12th, 12th Street Auditorium. Yep. Um, and it's all kids. The cast is all kids? It's all kids from ages 7 to 12. Uh, they had 58 kids try out, and there's mm -hmm. only 11 parts. And so what they ended up doing, uh, Wendy Richmeyer, bless her heart, um, never wants to leave a kid out. And so she has cast two different casts. So there's a cast A and a cast B, and each set of kids will get to do two shows. And they added a couple of extra musical numbers in so Aww. that the extras are on stage as much as the, the primary. So it's going to be a really, really Wonderful. fun production. Is anybody's kids in it? I my. think there's a theme here. We've got some talent on that side of the room. <laughs> yes, uh, my oldest son is nine, and Isaac gets to play Pigpen in Cast B. And he was so excited because he ran home, and after, er, after he found out, uh, he came upstairs, he said, I don't have to shower until December 1st. <laughs> oh, dude, don't oh, you? Son. He's ready yes, to you just do. embrace the character profile. <laughs> yes. And yes, but it, it's been fun trying to figure out how to make clouds out of his footprints. Because <laughs> he will have to look like he is dirty, just like Pigpen in the Can TV you like show. Baby powder. That's something. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't to wait to go. I can't wait to go and see what it is. Don't oh. don't spoil your uh, stage tricks. <laughs> Uh, also happening out at Big Creek Crossing, they'll have their holiday craft fair December 9th, and you may know some people out there. That's going to be 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So these are all people that make their own beautiful things. It'll make a great handmade gift. And what day again is that? December, December 9th. 9th. Okay. 
and also and while you're at the mall santa should be there yeah, yeah. he got there black friday yeah he's been there uh, for a while he's been there for a while so on the on december weekends there's a special day where you can bring your pet if you want pictures with santa and your pet that's december 22nd uh, and the week of December 15th, December 24th, Santa will be there every day, not just the weekend. So uh, if you want to cram it all in, that's the week, uh, December 15th through 24th. <laughs> Those last minute lists. Yeah. Uh, and if you happen to be at the library December 16th, he'll be popping in there for that special day. You know, I have to share, back in November when we had the Santa fly in, and he flew into the Hayes Regional Airport, one little kid went crying because he forgot to tell Santa what he wanted for Christmas but we need to make sure all children rest assured Santa knows yes, Santa knows oh that was just precious so what a sweetie well what what else is happening in December is there is there other stuff happening that's not necessarily holiday related yes we are having the closing of the seasonal exhibit at the Sternberg Museum. So African Menagerie, the giant mural, African yep. Safari mural by Brian Jarvie, who has spent multiple uh, multiple trips to Africa to yep. get a first-hand look at all these animals. And to Hayes, to tell us about it. It's an amazing piece. Um, so it closes out December... 21st and then it goes on to the next location yep and it will most likely never be back in Hayes again no so this is your only chance to go see it <laughs> it closes forever <laughs> December is 21st forever. um I want to tell you about that's it that's it I got yeah. it we did it all perfect in, in oh, segment well. one there's plenty more but you have to come back for segment two. Oh yes <laughs> so please stay with us we've got more to share with you in fact I think some ideas in case you are wondering what to buy this year for Christmas. We can help you out, so stay tuned. Some mobile phone providers think they can just take, take, take. They'll all take an arm and a leg for a new phone. Got it. And look out if you go over your data limit. I didn't see that coming. Unlimited data plans as low as $20 per line. Come into any of our stores for a free, upfront, and honest consultation about your data and wireless needs. Next Tech Wireless, the carrier you trust. Your home's exterior is the best defense against harsh weather conditions. With insulated vinyl siding, energy efficient windows, spray foam insulation, and metal roofing from AquaShield Roofing and Construction, you can protect your home from howling winds and ice cold temperatures. Don't let Mother Nature interfere with the comfort of your home. Call or visit us online today for a free estimate. AquaShield Roofing and Construction. Our team is dedicated to your complete satisfaction. Come on down to Bees Bargains at Smith Center, Kansas. We got the deals. We have a wide variety of inventory like soap, toiletries, toys, mini fridges, even kitchen tables. Everything is new at Bees Bargains, but it's all half the price. Yes, half price. That isn't just a good deal, that's a great deal. And with new items daily, our inventory is constantly changing. That means new, great deals are coming in by the truckload weekly. Bees Bargains at Smith Center. If you can't find a deal here, you can't find one anywhere. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedar View Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedar View. Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedar View Assisted Living for yourself. Welcome back to, to Hayes Sternberg Headlines. Museum. As we the promised, need, we've got some information want. on how you can make the holidays merrier by frankly keeping the cheer here, meaning that we want you to spend your dollars locally. So I I told you I was gonna. Well, I threatened these guys that I was gonna sing, but you, okay. you've worked us up now. You have to. Yeah. Uh, here's here's <clears throat> me 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 me. <laughs> Ode to the chamber. <laughs> chamber checks. Chamber checks. Chamber all the way. Oh, what fun it is to give a chamber check today. Hey. Hey. That was excellent. That's awesome. I will not quit my day job. Why or maybe they will force me. <laughs> well, there. Oh, hopefully there's no uh, <laughs> rights that are given there but no. <laughs> chamber checks is such a great way to help just 
give the gift to that person that has either everything or you know nothing about them or, um, and what I mean by nothing about them, yeah, you because know, I want to go give a stranger something. No, those coworkers, coworkers. Yeah. those those chamber directors and other directors that you love across town, what do you give them? You give them a chamber check. But what for your favorite teacher or all your teachers for that matter, uh, you know, the, the neighbor, the male delivery person, the newspaper delivery, boy, girl, whatever the case may be, chamber checks are a great way to just supplement um, those gifts that you may be purchasing. Um, we provide those at the chamber office so anybody can purchase them. They're used in over 500 different locations here across the town. And basically, if, it, if that business has chamber, um, proud chamber member decal for 2017, um, then they will be able to accept that chamber check. And it's just pretty much a certified check, guaranteed cash, whatever they wanted to, to look at it that way. But they come in $5 and $10 and $25. So, but we also have some other ideas for those unique gifts that probably chamber checks can purchase. So probably. what are some of the things that you you had some great ideas. I was thinking about for the family that has everything, and this could be a gift from somebody else or from the mom or the dad, a family pass to Sternberg Museum of Natural History. Um, we learned last year that your family pass gets you into hundreds, hundreds. of museums all over the country. Yep. Um, for free. So it's to free. Reciprocal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely yep. free. Yep. Uh, and when you've got family of four or five, that is so Huge. worth the membership. Uh, mine took a trip to Denver and we were able to go um, to one of their museums for free. And it was cheaper for me to get a family membership at Sternberg than it would have been to pay for all five of my members to go to the Denver Museum. It's a but gift. We got in for free. Every year we go giving. to Science City and yep. Union Station in Kansas City. In Kansas yep. City. Yep. And it's amazing and, and of course so affordable here yes. mm -hmm. but what a great way to support the community support right. Sternberg Museum and be able to have some learning fun opportunities and so. supporting history if you've got a friend who uh, is a history buff and you don't know what to get them there's a couple things uh, you could get them uh, a membership to the Society of Friends of the Fort they're always right, looking yeah. for support and they can get more involved in that organization also, I picked up a book I had been looking for at the Ellis County Historical Society Museum gift shop, um, Boots and Saddles by Elizabeth Custer. Uh huh. Yes. She's going to tell me all about what it was like to be in Hayes when it was rough and rowdy. I'm excited about it. Um, so there's lots of things that um, are unique to our area that are super special. Yep. Hayes and speaking Arts, of unique arts, Hayes yep. Arts Council. They've got their own gift shop where you can get uh, handmade items. Um, beautiful pottery beautiful. and yeah. art by local and regional artists. Mm -hmm. So, and we have a lot of local and regional artists as well, just in downtown, that you can go into their studios as well and purchase gifts from them. Um, Bruce Burkholder is one right next door to them. He's always got things for sale in his studio. Um, so make sure you're shopping those unique artistic gifts as well. And those are the the renowned artists. We've got yes. our up and coming artists, don't we? At Fort Hayes, don't yes. they? Yep. Do yes. some pottery, oh, unique I don't items. Know if I want to tell you guys about it because I want to buy everything myself. <laughs> so I'm just hmm. not gonna. Mm -hmm. uh, Monday, December fourth, and Tuesday, December fifth, uh, from eight a.m. to one p.m. Fort Hayes State Pottery students will have everything from little finger tiny bowls to coffee mugs to giant bowls and Basis. giant vases. Yes. Um, it's a beautiful selection. The students are so talented and there's things for every price range but I love to grab a piece and that's my hostess gift when I stay with somebody and I go to visit that's instead of um, just to say thanks for having me and this was made by a student and um, we're supporting our local art students. Well and don't aren't the students there to talk about their pieces and you can actually talk with the artist potentially get the autograph from that artist so then you're even more connected to that right. piece you're purchasing. Most of the pieces are signed yep. so you've got their oh, they're so and they're selling people. those do they sell those at the Fort Hayes State University Memorial Union? Mm -hmm. Is it inside the mm -hmm. union they're there? They're usually right next to the Starbucks. So. Easy to find. It, what better? Right there with your pumpkin spice and your uh -huh. peppermint mocha. Uh, you're thinking like I am thinking. <laughs> Very well done. Well, and you know, by all means, that's just, those are just unique items. But certainly, 
so many items across the the Christmas gift list, the wish lists of very many can be met here in Hayes, Kansas. And it and, and this is a recurring theme on this Hayes headlines, mm -hmm. but it is so important to support the local community because these same businesses regardless of size of business, they are supporting the local schools, the local churches, the local uh, the local artists, the local uh, whatever the case may be. And so much of that money continues to circulate and, and build our local economy. What does the voice of the Tigers get? Well, your family does something a little unique. Not we unique. do. Thank, thank you very much for that. <laughs> um, we actually give an early gift and we present it in the spring, but I'm sure Fort Hayes State University Athletic Office would not say no to a <laughs> December gift, but we always treat the voice of the Tigers, his parents, always get season tickets to the Fort Hayes games. And so, Great um, gift. yeah, yeah. I mean, that they certainly enjoy that and, and it's a, a great opportunity to um, give them something that they want. It's a, it's a, the gift that continues to give throughout the year. and. You know, there's, there's just all sorts of that, whether it's the local uh, municipal Hayes Golf Course to Smoky Hill Country Club. Th those, those are just really great opportunities to give people that. Sometimes people are just done with stuff and they would rather have the experience. That's so true. Yeah. So, well, we d definitely have a lot more to come and um, we thank you for staying with us. We will be right back with more information. Gove County Medical Center provides compassionate care combined with today's latest technology. We offer a wide range of services to meet the growing needs of you and your family, including surgical and swing bed services, cardiac and cancer rehab, as well as our pain clinic, long-term care, OB, and ongoing lactation assistance. Serving all of Northwest Kansas, our team of doctors and staff are committed to healing through caring. Visit govecountymedicalcenter.org and find us on Facebook to learn more. What a girl wants in her home kitchen. Ease of use, flexibility, fun, the latest kitchen design, Frigidaire Professional Real Stainless Steel for fewer finger smudges, a French door refrigerator, convection cooking, a quiet dishwasher. Have the staff at Genuine Appliance in Hayes demonstrate new Frigidaire Professional Appliances to find what you want. Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th in Hayes. Everything a girl wants. Hi. We're looking for insurance. Oh, let's see who's free. When insurance agents work for only one company, Michael. their options are simply limited. Everybody. But a trusted choice independent agent is free to shop many companies for a better deal. Free to do what's right for you. Let us shop for you. Contact Rogers and Associate to learn more. Storage Solutions is invested in complete customer satisfaction. You can choose a drive-up unit or a climate-controlled unit. Plus, you can choose from storage units of all sizes to fit your inventory. And that's not all. They'll sign for your packages and deliver and unload them into your unit. Storage Solutions has been named in the top 100 U-Haul dealers six times. Rent a pickup, cargo van, or a moving truck to keep your goods on the go. Remember, making moving and storing easy is Storage Solutions in Hayes and Victoria. All right, welcome back to Hayes Headlines. We've got a few more events happening for you in our community that we want to tell you about. The first being the upcoming Frost Fest festivities, which actually kicked off in November with our holiday open houses. But right now you can shop in downtown Hayes and every time you spend money at one of the 19 participating businesses, you earn a chance at 2,500 downtown dollars that you can then go on a shopping spree with um, between now and March 2018. So we're very excited about this. Um, like I said, there's 19 businesses participating and not only are you shopping to earn a chance to win that $2,500, uh, but you're also shopping to earn gifts from the Blue Heron Boutique, Couture for Men and Women, GNL Tire and Automotive, Gella's Diner, Coons Diamond Jewelers, they have a beautiful watch. The furniture look, I'm pretty sure she's giving away um, a recliner or a bedroom set. Wow. Um, and then Goodwin Sporting Goods, Refine, um, a lot of them are giving gift cards, some are giving those um, gifts. Everything's valued at over $150. So when you shop at those businesses and you shop at the other participating businesses, you're automatically entered to win with your purchase. 
at the stores. Okay, how long? Or restaurants. Do, how long do we have to shop before the drawing? You only have until December 16th to shop because that is the <laughs> night of Frost Fest and the Frost Fest Illuminated Parade. And so the parade typically happens around six or when night falls. And so what we'll be doing is inside our brand new pavilion at five o'clock, you will be able to come and you must be present to win one of these prizes. Okay. And so right before the parade, we'll give away all those gifts and the grand prize and then you can stay and enjoy the Frost Fest Illuminated Parade with us. Awesome. Oh, that is that is such a wonderful tribute to the community, but uh, certainly kudos to the Downtown Hayes Development Corporation for helping uh, coordinate all that, and thanks to the downtown businesses for staying open and just really helping with that unique holiday experience, because there's still carriage rides, correct? There are, yeah. So. Um, We've got a couple of other things happening besides what the, the giveaway. So on December 1st, another early event, we will have our holiday tree lighting. So you can come down at five o'clock for our tree lighting. You can enjoy free hot chocolate, visits with Santa. They're gonna have presents for you. Um, we're trying to get some carolers. Um, then, and where's that at? That's at 10th and Main, um, okay. right in Union Pacific Park and the pavilion area again. And the mayor will say a few words and then of course we'll light that beautiful tree that's been there for so long in that park. Um, but that's all in conjunction with the art walk and the carriage rides start that night from five to eight. And then carriage rides will continue on Thursday night. So December 7th, December 14th, December 21st, they'll be there from five to eight again. It's $3 per ride or three and under ride free. Um, but those carriage rides are a great way to experience our beautiful yes. historical downtown with all the lights on. Um, and it's a good 10, 15 minute ride through downtown and it's a lot of fun for the kids. You can fit up to 12 on the carriage. Wow. Uh, so you can bring your whole family down. That is that is so fun. Yeah. Thank you for all that you're doing with that. Thank you. Do we know how many parade entries at this point? Our goal is 60. We uh, I, This is almost my third year in the job. This will be my third parade, which is hard to believe. But our first year um, when, with me as director was 40. We had 50 last year, so we're really shooting for 60 That's entries great. this year. Wow. Yep. Well, yep. congratulations. Thank Three you. years down. And year one year down. Inter yeah, parade. So. <laughs> Got yes, it. Yes, please. CBB. <laughs> Put lights on the car, and yep. there's a rule: you have to have lights to be in you this Frost be Fest yep. Illuminated Parade, right? And if parade, you are watching right? this before the parade, downtownhaze.com, you can sign up right there on our website. And we're encouraging dance groups, even if you put glow sticks on your wrists and your ankles, that counts. That counts. Um, just some sort of light. Our only big rule is we don't let anyone have a live Santa. Uh, the theme this year is Saint Nick's on the Bricks, so we encourage fake Santas. We encourage elves whatever you would like, but you can't have a live Santa because of course, our live Santa on There's the red fire truck Santa. ends yeah. the entire parade. Make no parade. mistake, he's the real he Santa. He is the real Santa. Yes. You'll know when you see him. Yep, when you hear him, mm -hmm. you will know. You'll get goosebumps when he says his ho, ho, ho. <laughs> How fun. <laughs> we have a great Santa. Yes, we do. Well, there's just a few other things I know we're, we're not just wrapping or introducing the month of December, but we're wrapping up the year of 2017. Mm -hmm. And so right around the corner is January, as well as the annual banquet for the Hayes Area Chamber of Commerce. So always uh, a good time. And, we, we and we're always, wearing their colors. Your theme this year is this red is and silver. This is true, yes. red and silver. So mm. yeah, thank you. Can, can, I, can I wear this? In gingerbread, you can wear that because we want a piece of you too. So, but our our annual banquet, January thirtieth, we always sell out. So be sure to get tickets as soon as you can. And um, we've we've gone away from having an annual speaker. We really believe this is about a celebration of our community, and what better way than to honor several recipients of awards and we've had uh, I, knew, I knew I needed to have my cheat sheet here we've got five awards that we've done for several years um, but we are also introducing a sixth award this mm. year so let me first tell you the first five we've got our small business achievement award rising star award business women of the year citizen of the year and Hall of Fame Award. And, and thanks to all the sponsors that help us provide that. This year, we will have a helping hands. And so on the website, discoverhaze.com, you can see more data, get an application as well. But just for those that aren't familiar with this new award, we realize that we have such a great 
um, group of people that get nominated every year, but it's very difficult to compare the business accolades to those in the nonprofit sector. Mm. And so our board of directors for the chamber really sought to honor those individuals or businesses. So Helping Hands Award will honor an organization or an individual that's part of the nonprofit world. And so, idea. but those are, those are applicate or award nominations are due by January 5th inside the chamber office. And you can go to our website, www.discoverhaze.com to get an application or certainly just contact our office. So can you believe, yeah, we're getting ready for January. I'll, I'll I have a nomination for citizen of the year. Hey, aren't yeah? you sweet? Oh, I like that. I'm serious. All right. <laughs> Write it down. Yeah. So, well, well I'll make it. Okay. We I like that. We put a lot of information out there for our viewers and if there's anything that you missed, you forgot to write it down, you need a reminder. We try to keep a comprehensive community events calendar at www.visithaze.com. So you can always go there. You can even submit your own event if you have something um, that you'd like to share with the community. Yes, because our our website just has those chamber partnered activities. And mine and only has downtown. Downtown. So to and get I'm everyone. Yes. Thank <laughs> yes. you. So downtownhaze.com, visit Hayes.com, discover Hayes.com. You can't miss this. If you Google Hayes Kansas, there's some pretty great websites that'll pop up. But thank you for joining us, late ladies. It's been a wonderful year. It has Absolutely. been. Absolutely. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. We'll see you next time. Thank you.